Any patio can look good on the surface, but a proper base is the most important part. It starts with the correct depth excavation, and then you move forward onto the base. There are three basic types of stone. There's three inch and three quarter inch stone, which are named for their size. And then there's grade eight, which is three quarter inch stone with limestone screenings mixed into it to fortify it as you compact. Since this patio has a standard base, we are going to be using grade eight stone. However, we start all of our paper patio bases with three inch stone in order to fortify the subsoils. cloth is used to prevent soil migration in a permeable paper base. It is not normally used for a grade 8 base like the one we are building here. However, the subsoils at this home were contaminated with masonry sand from a century ago. Even though there was plenty of time for settling, I did not see the subsoils as suitable and wanted a little bit of extra protection. This awesome stuff you see here is called the GeoGrid. The specific one we are using is called Unilox Drive Grid. It traps the 3 quarter inch stone in half inch triangles. It's 15 feet wide by 150 foot long, which creates a mesh that prevents any stone above it from settling if the stone below it happens to settle. With the standard base, we then use 2 inch by 4 inch thick tubing to help us consistently screen off each one of our lifts that we then compact with both a small compactor to level off the stone and an extra large compactor to really smash it down. Keep these steps until we're at our final elevation. We normally start at any steps that we may have and work our way back to the perimeter of the patio to determine our final elevation. We start by measuring the thickness of the brick that we'll be using and we add that to the height of the step. We then mark the bottom of where that brick will land and that's where the top of our gravel will end. After compaction, there's just the right amount of room for sand. Once we build up our patio to where we chalked out the red line, we compact it with both the small and big compactor again to get it really solid. After that, we have to crack it up with a stiff rake and flatten it all out with a 12-foot piece of magnesium. We then compact it only with the small compactor because we don't want to mess up our flat patio. The next step of four pavers is sand, but we don't lay our sand unless we have enough time in the day to lay all the pavers because it will get messed up overnight. I'm Scott Flanagan. I appreciate you watching these videos. I hope you enjoy watching them as much as I enjoy sharing them. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, you know the rest. This video series started out with the customer talking about her experience and you got to see the whole project from start to finish with all the final shots. We then made a whole bunch of how-tos. Every piece of this project we tried to cut down into a video under three minutes teaching you how to do what we do. If you want to see this series from the beginning, click on that link. If you want to see our latest videos, they're over there. If you want to see more videos about our company, they're over there. And if you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe!